Hello everyone, I'm Stefan in this tutorial to learn how we can drive the formulas or equations for the volumes of different shapes from the scratch. Without memorizing anything, we can still uh, calculate the volumes of different shapes and by using the calculus. And the idea here, we have this cone here with the height of 12 meters and the radius of 2 meters we see how much the volume and the mass of the ice cream we need to fill it to the top to here not to here to here so we're going to see calculate that first of all we have to find uh, drive this formula here from the scratch without using it just driving it using the calculus and learn how we can do that and then when we find the formula we are going to calculate the volume without even driving the formula then when we have the volume of the cone is going to be the volume of the ice cream actually because we're going to fit it inside then we're going to convert the volume of the ice cream using the 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 formula this one here the density the density formula so to know how many kilograms we are going to need i'm sure is a lot of a lot a lot so let's do that first of all first of all let's find the uh, uh, function that more or less if we rotate it if we rotate it something like this something like this we are going to get a cone and in this idea we see that we have the cone is the radius is two so one two radius is here and we see the height is 12 so we can take this line here the formula of this line so when we are rotating it we are getting the same cone we have here just uh, sleeping <laughs> so first of all let's do that find the uh, let's to have an idea let's write it down we have this point here and we have one two and this point here we can call this point here is h and r because if you see we have h and r so let's do that and this is the line is going to be more or less something like this so when we are rotating this line let's find the different color rotating it is going to give us something like this it's going to be one and two so it's going to be something like this it's going to be like this so if you do that it's going to give us list to another line here so to have an idea if you see we are getting the cone you see the same thing and has r is 2 and has the height here is h is 12 the same thing so let's drive the the equation of this line the equation of this line we can call it rf of x y is just the slope we are going to find the slope is just y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so when we have a line we choose two points and we do x2 minus x1 here uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 this is what we did here to find the slope and this here is going to multiply in x plus usually is plus b since it's going from the origin doesn't have b b is equal to zero it just is going to be like that so it's going to be just uh, x y2 over x2 just is going to be uh, 2 over 6 so it's going to be just r over h x and we can write here just 1 over 6 x because 2 over 12 is just 1 over 6 and this is the equation of the line that is going from is this one here this that the equation of this line here so what we're going to do we are going to select a small disk. We can change the color here. 
this this we can call this disk here is very tiny actually and this disk has the the radius is this one here and has the thickness here let's change the color let's just do this so this one has a thickness here we can call it dx because it's very tiny and has a r here we can call it big r here in this case we can call it big r so what is the area of this uh, the area of this small disk we can call it da because it's very tiny it's just this r here pi r square this is the area because the area is always pi the radius times the uh, pi times the radius squared if you see always if you choose anywhere r is just f of x so it will be just r over h x so therefore we'll have here is just pi f of x squared and f of x squared is just pi times r over h x squared and is going to be pi r squared over h squared x squared so this is the area of of that small disk this is the area of this small disk here uh, the, uh, the area here so to find the volume we have to multiply and the thickness because always the cylinder we have a cylinder like this and we have the area we have to multiply in the height this one to have the volume and this is a very tiny cylinder so therefore dv is just da times dx that small tiny chunk so what is going to give us in this case here we find the area is this one so let's plug it here is going to be just equal to pi r squared over h square x square dx let me see if it's the correct yes so now let's find the v let's uh, just to have everything so that one is the the dv so let's find the big dv so the big v so v change the color here something dark so v is going to be just integrating dv from 0 to 12 so since this small we can take all those small pieces here and we add them together this is the integration from that chunks from 0 to 12 you see from 0 to 12 we are doing it 12 is stopping so what is going to be here is just integration from 0 to 12 of pi r squared over h squared x squared dx and we see this here is just constant because r constant h constant and uh, pi constant we can always remove it outside so what we are going to get is just pi r squared over h squared times 0 to h let's first find the just to drive the the formula from 0 to h and this we can use it when we are going straight forward without finding the formula so what is going to be just x squared dx so what we are going to get is just pi r squared over h squared times integrating this here is just 
x to the third over 3 so what is going to get here just 1 over 3 x to the third from 0 to h and it's going to be just pi r squared over h times 1 over 3 h to the third we see here this one here when we have this we just uh, substitute x with this minus this one here but we substitute with this but this is just zero is going to give us zero so we end just with this and uh, refreshing the integration if we have for example x squared integrating it is just it is given uh, x squared integration is just one over three x to the third when you are integrating something let's just i was skipping fast so we have for example uh, x to the a integrating it is just one over a plus one to the power x a plus one same idea we did we have x squared so we divide by uh, by two plus one and we raise the power plus one extra is two plus one just three this is what we did here same thing just in case if you don't remember the integrating or something so what we're going to get just this here and this one is going to be just pi this is here squared r squared over h squared times one over three h to the third and this h to the third just let's write it h to the second squared times h times h so we see that we have here uh, h squared and h squared we can cancel it and we end with pi r squared h over 3 is same as 1 over 3 pi r squared h now we see we are driving the formula driving the formula without even seeing it there even if you don't remember you see you can do it using the calculus and uh, you can not just the cone you can find you can find any shape you want since uh, the only thing you have to do just finding an equation and the piece of the curve of that equation it will give you by rotating it give you the figure you are looking for and then you can always find the volume so this is the volume uh, the formula of the volume so let's uh, calculate it just go straight forward let's delete this so we have here We say it's just pi dv dx is just pi times this one here and this one just 1 over 6 squared x squared dx right you just we in block the f, uh, f of x in each place is here it's just this one here times dx so this is what we did here and the uh, seed f of x just that one so what we're going to get so the integrating this one here dv we say is just equally change the color here is going to be is just integrating from 0 to 12 of what 1 over 36 pi x squared dx so what we're going to get 
this is a just constant we can always check it outside there will be pi pi over 36 to greater than 0 from to 12 of x squared dx and what we're going to get pi over 36 times 1 over 3 x to the third from 0 to 12 from 0 is just 0 so we can and just we substitute this with this here and we have the answer therefore so it's going to give us pi over 36 times 3 1 over 3 times 12 to the third and let's see how much is going to be so we have 12 to the third 12 to the third times pi divided by 36 and divided by 3 and we get 50.27 50.27 meter to the third so we see without even applying the formula go straight forward and we still we get the same answer that we get here the same answer I see same answer is here so now we have the volume in meter cubic in cubic meter so let's change it to the letter because we have here the formula 1 kilogram uh, 0 0.56 kilogram per liter so let's convert in this uh, this formula here this uh, quantity from meter cubic to the letter so let's delete this stuff and do that So since you, if you know the trick how you do it, you can find the volume to every shape. It's the only issue you can find. So how you find the, the function that describes the figure you're looking for. So we have here in this case, we have that uh, V is equal to 50.27 cubic meter so we have to we know that uh, one one we know that one one meter one cubic meter is equal to a thousand liter therefore we just multiply there with a thousand and we get the answer therefore v is just five zero two seven zero liter so we have the quantity in liters here so we are going to convert uh, the volume from liter to the mass so we have the mass equally m is just the volume times the the density so what we're going to have is just five zero to seven zero liters times 0 0.56 gram kilogram kilogram per liter so what we're going to get so multiply it in we have five zero two seven zero times 0 0.56 we're going to get two thousand eight hundred uh, twenty eight thousand one hundred fifty one point two kilograms is a lot of ice cream and is a lot of money too hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and wait for next video please subscribe if you didn't and share so other people they can learn and thank you